Joining us live to speak more on series of protests and advocacy against rape is Senator Florence Itagiwa, popularly known as Mama Bakasi. Thanks for joining us, Mom, on the news. Hello, thank you. And how are you doing this morning, ma'am? Good morning. The voices against rape are increasing in recent times. What exactly is your take as a frontline female politician in Nigeria? Well, um, it's most unfortunate, really, you know, because um, uh, most unfortunate because um, I don't know why um, this issue of um, child abuse uh, rape is on the increase. Um, but I had made my position known a long time ago um, by the punishment that um, I thought was asked for people who commit such crimes. People who defile, you know, young people, young, I mean, babies and children. You know, my position is still the same, you know, that those type of people, uh, you know, should be castrated, just away. And now, since it doesn't look like um, that can be possible, no, it's not funny at all. Then they should be, uh, they should go and, you know, save, I mean, save the rest of their life in jail. Because, see, it happens to be happy. If they go in for a particular period of time, they go to prison and they come out. If it is a habit to rape children, they'll continue. Now, so, you know, the dogs are bringing in the left back to the society. They should be put away or castrated. But for me, number one, the condition is that for them to be castrated. So it's a very, very heinous offense. You abuse the child from the age of two for life, and you have destroyed that child. It's like killing the child. Now, Senator, Any man that Senator you know, Florence. Can abuses a baby, yeah. a, a two, three year, four year old baby, it's like you have killed, you have finished the child for life. Now, Senator Florence, specifically as a long term serving federal lawmaker, what more do you think can be done to our laws against rape, which many people feel the evidence required is cumbersome? and difficult to prove. Oh, no, how? Oh. What, what do you mean, that uh, you know that the evidence is difficult to, to prove? Yes. That what more can be done by way of legislation in regards to that? Oh, well, for me, you know, <laughs> if I had my work, well, currently, you know, the, uh, the uh, National Assembly turned down, uh, you know, the, the, the uh, Punishment of uh, castration, you understand? Because uh, the evidence is so obvious, you know. I mean, when it's being a child and uh, uh, you know, kind of penetrate the child, you have destroyed a human, and then the child will bleed, the child will be in pain. So, you know, it's not something that you have to search for to find the evidence. It's very, very clear. You know, the first penetration causes severe, you know, bleeding. Now, what is, what is the message to female folks, especially to protect themselves and, by extension, the law enforcement agencies? I, I, think, I, think, I think, number one, parents should really, 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 you know, uh, try their best to safeguard their children from being raped. Um, you should watch the kind of people that are around you. you. You should look out for your neighborhood, the kind of men, elderly men, or young people that are around your neighborhood. And you should not allow yourself to wander out to go out and play on her own because they can entice children with uh, chocolate, with uh, biscuits, with things. So you can, even if you are in a poor neighborhood, you know, I mean, that's literally speaking, a neighborhood that is not so good, you can still protect your child. You so, know, and then know the kind of stuff that you employ in your home, you know the kind of security, the kind of character. Just, just be alert because I have children and I have. Beautiful young children between the ages of five and six growing up. And everybody knows my position, you know. And I don't let my girls, you know, hang around, you know, on their own. I, I don't allow it. But then the law enforcement agency should also, you know, be very, very decisive in what decisions they take. Senator Florence Itakewa, thank you very much for joining us. You're welcome. You know, sorry, I don't think we have a good line and far away in Canada, but thank you so much. So nice, you know, talking to you on your wonderful uh, TV station.
The pleasure is all ours. Thank you.